Growing Bolder is not just media, it's a movement. The world's first active lifestyle brand for adults, Growing Bolder creates and distributes inspiring, entertaining, and educational content that resonates with a large intergenerational tribe of active, affluent women and men. Growing Bolder means to me doing all the things that I always wanted to do and being able to do them now. With an annual reach of over 300 million, Growing Boulder's Emmy Award winning team of broadcast journalists is rebranding aging by inspiring audiences of all ages to believe that it's never too late to make the rest of your life the best of your life. I am growing bolder, but I'm so proud to be able to say that nothing is going to stop me from doing what I want to do. It taught me that I gotta get rid of all the excuses of why I don't have time or why I can't do something and just do it. Just get out there and do it. Growing Bolder reaches and inspires an intergenerational 40 plus audience that is overwhelmingly receptive to the authenticity of the Growing Bolder message. This is the truth. This is authenticity. Everything else that's out there in the mass media is false. I thought it was phenomenal. It was inspiring. It was informative, educational, and it was just really an uplifting show for sure. Growing Boulder's multi-channel media platform connects with a large and loyal audience through a national television program available in over 90% of all U.S. TV households, a radio program and podcast on NPR One, a nationally distributed magazine, books, electronic newsletters, documentary films, a network of websites that deliver tools, tips, and resources in personal finance, fitness, healthcare, brain health, caregiving, and more a social media audience with more active engagement than most major networks, and live events that draw enthusiastic sellout crowds. It was amazing. I mean, it, it seemed to, to every one of us that we were saying, we are living these things, but we needed validation. If there was ever any validation, we got it tonight. Growing Boulder is changing the way the world looks at aging by delivering hope, inspiration, and possibility through the stories of ordinary people living extraordinary lives. Longevity is redefining life for all of us, and you've got to have a purposeful life, and grow, Growing Boulder represents that purpose, that inspiration. How much is Growing Boulder responsible for your success today? The Growing Boulder attitude is responsible for all of it. But you don't understand, I, I had some of that already. I was just glad I found somebody that's preaching it, man. It's like, yes. <laughs> growing Boulder targets the wealthiest demographic of all time, a large, growing, and underappreciated group of consumers that controls 73% of all U.S. disposable income and is responsible for $7.3 trillion in annual economic activity dominating 119 of 123 consumer packaged goods categories. I tell you that, I think you guys are doing a great work. I love the coverage that you're doing, the stories that you're writing, because we're a huge demographic, and we actually have a lot of buying power, actually. So I'm wondering, why are they ignoring us? You like the concept of growing bolder and not growing older? I love it. That's what I'm doing. This is a word-of-mouth demographic that shares advice and takes the recommendations of friends. Leveraging the power of these voices is what Growing Boulder does. I just take this and I'm going to go to my next friend that needs it. So it's perfect. I wish everybody I knew could be here to hear this. Growing Boulder has defined and now dominates an entirely new life stage that has never before existed. Two, three, and even four decades of active life beyond what's considered normal retirement age. A life stage that represents passion, purpose, and possibility for people of all ages. Let me tell you, this was so inspiring. This Growing Boulder organization is phenomenal. Growing Boulder is just that very thing, is choosing to age in a different way by how you think and how you behave. And if you ask me what the key to successful aging is, it's to not mourn what's lost, but to celebrate what remains. To not identify with loss and limitation, but rather with passion, purpose, and possibility. We value life by the way that we live it. So I ask you one final time, what really matters? What's important to you? Pursue that, forget the rest, and carpe the hell out of this diem. Thank you very much. Thank you all very much.